Hi, I'm Dr. May Seibel, editor of My Menopause Magazine. I just interviewed Dr. Joanne Pinkerton at the annual meeting of the North American Menopause Society about some new medications that have just been approved for symptomatic treatment of menopause. And guess what? They're not estrogen. Check this out. Well, let me begin by asking you just to state your name. Joanne Pinkerton. And your title? Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the University of Virginia, and I direct a large midlife health center. And also past president of the North American Menopause Society, yeah, among correct. many other roles that you play on an ongoing way. Now, I heard you give a talk today about alternatives to estrogen that were prescription medications. And I wonder if you could talk about, there was a new one that's about to come out. Maybe we could talk a little bit about that. So I talked about two different products. One is an, an alternative to traditional hormone therapy, mm -hmm. which is a serum, basidoxyphene, combined with an estrogen, conjugated estrogen. And it's called a TSEC, a tissue selective estrogen complex, mm -hmm. meaning you put the serum and the estrogen together, and then that product is what was studied and tested. And, and the serum, again, just to make it clear. The serum is an alternative to progesterone. A selective estrogen Estro receptor modulator. Uh, yes, sorry about that. <laughs> uh -huh. So it's just something that's kind of a smart estrogen. It's a designer estrogen. Mm -hmm. So instead of estrogen being combined with a progesterone for people who have a uterus, it's estrogen combined with a serum selective estrogen receptor modulator that takes the place of the progesterone mm -hmm. and provides the protection against cancer of the uterus. And what we found, which was really, really exciting, was that it relieves hot flushes, improves vaginal atrophy, prevents bone loss, and does not increase vaginal bleeding, did not increase uterine stimulation, did not increase uterine stimulation, um, didn't increase breast density, and did not increase breast cancer. And weight? Any effect on weight? No effect on weight in the one to two year trials that we saw. And is this a medicine that's out there now? This particular medicine, basidoxyphene combined with estrogen, mm -hmm. was just approved by the FDA in September, so it will probably be on the market by March. In contrast, there is a non-hormonal treatment for hot flushes that was also FDA approved earlier this year, in mm -hmm. July, and that will be available on the market probably within the next one to two months. Mm -hmm. And that is a low-dose paroxetine salt. Um, the dose is 7.5 milligrams. It's an SSRI, and it was shown to relieve hot flushes not as well as estrogen, but it improved the frequency and severity. So it's an antidepressant type medicine, but not the same dose as what's used to fight depression. It's a much lower dose than is used for depression. It's also a different salt. It's a um, methyl salt, mm -hmm. and so it's a little bit different than the one that's on the market now. And what was exciting besides the fact that it helped hot flushes and sleep was that it did not increase weight and there was no sexual effects, unlike many of the other doses when they're used for antidepressants. So it sounds like for women who have menopausal symptoms but either can't or won't take estrogen, they're about to have some great alternatives. They have two new options. So they've got the CERM with estrogen and they've got a new non-hormonal low-dose SSRI. So two options. That's great. And these are both be FDA approved? These are both FDA approved. It's so very unusual. This year we've had three FDA approved products. Ospemifin, which is for the treatment of painful intercourse. And now this new one, which is conjugated estrogen with basidoxyphene. It's a long name, I know. And then we have the low-dose paroxetine salt. So three FDA approved treatments. One for vaginal atrophy, two for hot flushes. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome.